Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Shantrinas, and today I'm going to be showing you a couple of my favorite products to combat hair breakage. If you are new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. As you guys know, I love to dye my hair and all that fun stuff. So, kind of showing you my process of repairing hair breakage or um, what to use before you decide to bleach your hair or anything involving a chemical process pretty much. Apogee is a line of hair care products for um, anyone that's experiencing any breakage or damage to their hair and um, anyone with natural or relaxed hair can use this. Um, any hair type honestly can use this and um, it's just a really really good protein treatment for anyone that's experiencing that really damaged breakage hair feeling. One of my favorite products is the G two-step protein treatment and this is supposed to stop hair breakage and rebuild hair structure for six weeks. So you're only supposed to use it every six weeks and that kind of tells you how strong this stuff is. Um, I wouldn't recommend using this like every week like as a deep conditioner or anything like that. This is just um, every six weeks for that really really strong protein builds for the hair. Okay, so after you shampoo your hair, all you have to do is towel blot it dry, make sure it's um, not super wet, and then go ahead and put the two-step protein treatment on top of it. Then what you're gonna do is either sit under a hooded dryer or use your hair dryer to blow dry the product into your hair. The only con about this product right here is that it smells really bad, um, but it works amazing. If you're suffering from breakage, this is the number one thing I would say go to. Um, because it is affordable and it works really good. You only need to use this once every six weeks. Um, it helps out a lot, especially if you have severely damaged hair. The next thing from Apogee I would recommend is this right here. It's their Keratin 2-Minute Reconstructor. And this one is um, a lighter version of the first product that I showed you. If your hair isn't very damaged but you just want to give it a little bit of oomph, or if you're about to straighten your hair or have just come from straightening your hair, then this one would be a good option because it's just a really good um, quick conditioner. Um, I've seen people even use this with their deep conditioners. So they'll grab their deep conditioner, um, squeeze a little bit in their deep conditioner and use that together. But um, I mean, it's up to you however you use it. But basically after you shampoo your hair, just use this one, um, leave it on for two to five minutes. Um, you can leave it on longer if you want to, but it is not a deep conditioner, it's a regular conditioner. It just helps out a lot with chemical damage and heat damage and all that. This stuff, after you get a relaxer, is really nice. Um, it makes your hair feel really strong, it gets it to be super like pen straight for weeks, and um, it's just really nice. Next is the Macadamia Deep Conditioner, you guys. I am never going to stop talking about this, so if you already know how I feel, you can fast forward because, um, yeah, I just, I love this conditioner so much. It smells wonderful. It works so good on my hair. Um, it defines my curl pattern like nobody's business. Like, it's just um, awesome. But this is a deep conditioner. Leave it on for seven minutes or more. I usually leave mine on for like 30 minutes to an hour. It is amazing. I try to deep condition every week, mainly because I have color treated hair. This isn't my hair, this is a wig, but basically, um, my hair is very curly. I'll put a picture, I guess, somewhere. But my hair is very curly, dry, damaged from bleaching, dyeing, and all that stuff. So I have to use really good products in order to maintain the integrity of it. And this stuff is my number one. Like, it's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Highly recommend it. If you don't have it yet, buy it because it will help out your hair so much. Um, especially if you have curly hair, you will be amazed at how this stuff works. So I'm using the GVP It's a 10 Leave-In Conditioner and it is absolutely amazing. I use this mainly when I want to uh, blow dry my hair or straighten it and it just helps to make sure my hair doesn't get fried in the process. Um, I use this after I use my Macadamia Deep Conditioner and it works just really nicely together. It's a lot more affordable than the original It's a 10 so I mean you can't beat that. This stuff is like the best and it works really great with um, natural hair that has been bleached and dyed this is basically what all the products are good for natural hair that is bleached and dyed it's like another layer of protection whenever you're doing heat um, to your hair so definitely recommend this one my favorite heat protectant is the silk elements mega silk olive oil heat protection spray I have their old bottle here um, but this is what it looks like now um, except it's bigger obviously but 
Um, this stuff is absolutely amazing. I've been using this for years and I have yet to find another. I can use this on wet hair and I can use it on dry hair. So if I want to straighten my hair, blow dry it, I can use it all with the same heat protectant, which I really like because there are some heat protectants you cannot use when you're straightening your hair because they come out a little bit too wet, like the mist is a little bit too wet and then it gets the hair wet and I hate that. And this one does not do that at all. So I'm just so happy I was able to find this. And it's supposed to also reduce the frizz and it is alcohol free. So if you want to heat protect it without alcohol, this is the one for you. Next thing I have here is from the main choice. I haven't shown myself using this in video yet, but basically anytime I want to use wigs, I'll um, wash my hair and then I'll use a really good deep conditioner because I know if I'm wearing wigs, I'm going to be wearing them for a while and my hair won't be out. And I've been using this cuticle control leave-in lotion from the main choice. And it is an, an anti-breakage and repair antidote oil. There's no mineral oil, petroleum, parabens, sulfates, formaldehydes. It's everything free, pretty much. Super moisturizing. This stuff is amazing. I feel like if my hair was wet enough, I would be able to detangle with just a wide tooth comb. And usually, like in big chunks too, and that usually does not happen. Um, but yeah, this stuff is really nice. I've only been using it for a couple of weeks now. Um, but my hair always feels great whenever I take it down from wearing wigs. So, I mean, clearly it's doing something since my hair still feels really nice underneath the wigs. I'll keep you guys updated on how much I like this once the bottle is almost empty. Right now I still have like half of it left, but I like it a lot. Like this stuff is really nice and it smells really good too. The next thing I have from the main choice is their Pink Lemonade and Coconut Curl Boosting Sherbet. And um, this is for twist outs, braid outs, wash and goes, all that stuff. And you guys saw me use this on my this hair a uh, couple of videos back. If you click the link that's up here somewhere, it'll show you how I got this hairstyle. But yeah, the main choice pink lemonade it, and coconut curl boosting sherbet it smells really good. It smells more like pink lemonade than it does anything else. But um, the reason I like this a lot for uh, damaged hair or hair that is breaking is because it has biotin in it. And biotin is amazing for hair. Um, skin and nails but this is just for the hair usually the products that I have for damaged hair are for whenever I want to straighten it so that it's nice that I can have something to do a twist out and still keep like the integrity of my hair upheld you know it's pretty nice thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see how I did my hair go ahead and hit the link that's somewhere any I don't know which way I'm gonna do it yet up there or down here one of these two and I'll see you guys next time bye guys